Hi, I'm Cash with Cashed Out Boards, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get a super high quality mirror finish on your boards. Let's get started. So the first thing to do after the boards are clear coated, and um, if your boards aren't clear coated yet, I do have a video on my channel that I made a while ago about how to clear coat, and the basics are still the same. So after your boards are clear coated, the first thing to do is to wet sand your boards to get any dust particles and to smooth out the surface and get it pretty perfectly smooth. So I'd say start with the finest sandpaper that you could start with. I'm starting with a thousand on mine. And what you have to do is you just wet down the sandpaper and you make sure the surface of your board is nice and wet where you're going to sand. And then um, I like to use a piece of foam to back it and help spread out the pressure and help even out the pressure so you don't gouge into the clear coat with your hand. And just make like a little pad like that and just gently sand the uh, face of the board. And this will pull out any dust particles and smooth out the surface which is the first step to getting a mirror finish. And you really don't need a lot of pressure because you're not trying to go through the clear coat because if you do go through the clear coat then you really have to start the whole process of clear coating again. So just go light pressure just enough to pull up um, anything that's in the coat and really smooth it out. And to check your progress on how you're doing with the wet sanding I just like to take a microfiber and wipe it down and try to dry off the surface. And ideally, you're going to want to wet sand until you have a pretty uniform haze across the whole surface. Um, if the surface isn't very smooth and the clear coat isn't thick, don't do that because then you'll end up burning through the clear coat trying to get it uniform and perfectly smooth. So, on mine, it's pretty smooth. You could still see some streaks that are shiny, which are the low spots. But with the clear coat job that I'm trying to do, um, it'll come out fine at the point that it is right now so now you can move on to the next step which is finer sandpaper so now I'm using some 2500 grit sandpaper ideally you should try to find something between the 1000 and the 2500 but this is what I have right now on hand so basically you're going to do the same thing and sand down the coat once more and with the finer grit it'll really just smooth out the surface which will prepare it for the next step which is buffing it down and getting it to the mirror polish and once you're done with this step, the clear coat won't look perfectly smooth. It'll actually look kind of milky and streaky. But that'll all be um, fixed with the next step, which will get it looking great. And once again, just like with the last grit, to check your progress and make sure you're happy with the coat. It's a good idea to wipe it down and dry everything off, which lets you see all the, um, all the work that you've done and all the low spots. And then also once it's perfectly dry you could run your hand over the surface and feel to make sure that it's perfectly smooth and up to your standards. And now I'm rubbing my hand over it and I don't really feel any imperfections like I did before. Like particles in the clear coat or high spots and low spots. So that's a good indication that you're ready to move on to the next step which is buffing down the coat. So once your boards are perfectly smooth and all dried off and you feel them and you're sure that they're smooth enough for your liking, uh, I like to buff the boards and to do this I just have a buffing pad on a drill and some automotive buffing compound which I'll show you how to use now. So to use this compound I like to get a little bit on the board and then just take the, um, the buffing pad at a slow speed and just kind of spread it out over an area. And then once it's nice and spread out, I like to increase the speed and just work the compound in. And what this compound does is it basically cuts down the little ridges created when you sand it down the board and brings the board to a mirror finish. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then to check your progress, just like when you were wet sanding, I like to take our microfiber and just buff off the extra compound with the microfiber. And as you can see, the area that I just did is much, much more shiny. And it looks a lot better than the areas that were just wet sanded. So I'll give you a close up of that now to see. It is also important to keep in mind when you do this that the buffing compound does tend to go everywhere. So wear a bad shirt and don't do this in an area that you want to keep perfectly clean. So the final thing that I like to do is just to hit it again with a lighter cut compound 
and you're going to use it the same way, just get it on the board and then spread it out with the pad and then just go over the whole thing smoothly and um, use this to cut it down even farther and give you an even brighter, um, clearer mirror finish. So, let's do it. And also I have a new pad on here so you don't mix both the compounds on one pad. And then once you went over the whole board with your finer cut compound, the last thing to do is once again to just buff off all the extra dried up compound to reveal your super nice mirror finish. So that's it for this video. That's the whole process that I go to to bring my boards up to a pretty high quality mirror finish. Uh, please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. As always, thank you for watching.